listening to Podcast One, home of all the podcasts. Yes, and before we get started, I'd like to talk to you about how my ring work has been lately. You've seen me in the ring, I'm doing so well, and it's all thanks to DDP Yoga. They usually, like, talk and then go to a break. Right, but we don't have that kind of time. Mm, Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you've joined us once again. And we are back at it with a movie review. What did we watch today, Alexa? Beauty and the Bestie. Beauty and Vice... the Bestie. Who's in that movie, anyway? Uh, Is it Vice Ganda? Ogi al Qasid. <laughs> Sarah Geronimo. No. Uh, Samuel Hung. Who's that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, um, okay. Watch Beauty and the Beast. <clears throat> yes. By the way, uh, you know, uh, Pia Wurtzbach wants to be the new Darna, apparently. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, so, Beauty and the Beast. How did you feel? Well, let me just preface this. Uh, I haven't seen... I, I, I watched the movie a lot when I was younger, because I think my sister really liked the film. Um... And we would always watch these movies together when, when we were kids. But I probably haven't seen it since maybe like 1993 or 4-ish. Like, that's the last time I ever saw it. when I was born. Just yeah, kidding. that's the last time I ever saw okay. these movies. The Beauty and the Beast movies. Uh, well, movies. The movie Beauty and the Beast. Um, how did I feel about it? I liked... I will, t- I will say this, though. Like, all these live-action... Um, reimaginings and um, remakes of the classic Disney princess stories like Cinderella, Aurora, all that stuff, uh, Sleeping Beauty. Like I like that they they don't just remake them; they they re they they add stuff to it, or they 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 tweak the story slightly just to make it a little bit more. Um, more interesting and, and make it more make it a unique movie in and of itself and I kind of like what they did with the new stuff that they did with this as opposed to the old one but but I can say though that I don't remember the old one that well <laughs> because like I said <laughs> I haven't seen it in 20 plus years anyway how about you I feel like since Disney has been rolling out these live actions these past couple of years it's like they're tweaking what works and what doesn't work so like i was saying earlier like we watched cinderella and cinderella is my princess and all but i was not crazy about that movie i liked cinderella i mean it was it was fine it wasn't like crappy it was great and like maleficent was really cool i think that one got good reception because it's like that was like it's like a spin-off you know like Mm. it wasn't about i mean like jungle book was Like, um, oh, yeah, Jungle Book. And they're, you know, they're, I hear they're rolling out with like Mulan and like Lion King. We didn't even see Tarzan. There's a new one? There was. Oh. But, um, like, I think this one, so this one was good because they, they kept a lot of the songs, you mm-hmm. know? Like, yeah. that's, they, people like, people like the songs and the music. Like, they didn't do that in Cinderella, so well, there was Cinderella didn't have many other songs. Yes, there were. Well, not, not, not iconic. Yeah, oh yeah, like, there you know, were. I don't, I don't but, know But, so, and it's like, I mean, I think they, they learned that from, like, uh, Jungle Book. That, but, it, um, but this one, they, they, they did a lot more towards the, the old movie. Okay. Um... People, I heard a lot of people saying they were they cried. I didn't cry. Um, you were feeling it though a little bit, weren't no. you? Though? You were feeling it slightly. I just feel like like just like, like like four percent. No, I, I didn't think there was anything to, to cry over. Really, yeah, no. I mean, I knew that. I knew. I yeah. mean, you know, I know that the beast isn't gonna die or yeah. anything like that, and yeah. I know that it always wraps itself up in a nice happy ending. Yeah. Um. What did, how did you feel about the main character, the actress, Emma Watson? Did she, did she like, was she Belle to you? Did she do well as Belle? I think I remember reading, reading some kind of meme or whatever that said that like, 
there's this whole there's like a whole generation new generation now that's going to associate her not with Harry Potter but with the character of Belle. Ooh. Uh, she's not going to be forever Hermione. Uh, oh, no. No, I mean it was it was cool. The it's like I don't get why cuz they're supposed to live in France but everyone got British accents but that's just Whatever. Yeah, that's I mean, that's one of those things you just have to get over. Yeah. I mean, all, uh, uh, Lefou had an American accent. Yeah. You know, so. I know. Yeah. I just hear like I just heard Olaf, oh. and even even like that whole controversy um, of like Lefou's character or whatever. I was like, I honestly people like, people be tripping. <laughs> I didn't see it. Like I just was at expect- the it was just at the end. But that's like that was just like a little. It was like one second. <laughs> you know, I was like whatever. I, who was tripping, honestly? I, the honestly, conservatives. Oh God. The South. I don't. I. I. Well, first of all, I haven't really heard anything ab- about that. People. But, people were like, um, like boycotting the movie, and, or like some theaters really? oh, in certain states God. were like not playing. I know it's ridiculous. Well, I mean, you know what it is. It's just uh, you know. Let's not get into the, the whole politics of it. I think most of it is just. It's just people are. People are pushing back because they feel like they're getting pushed in the opposite direction. Yeah. So, but anyway, back to Emma Watson. Honestly, and you bring up like, I don't know if I really liked her as Belle in this film. <laughs> you know, and and in a lot of ways, like you you talk about Cinderella. I think that if the roles were switched, I think Lily James, who played Cinderella probably would have done a better job. I, I think I, sh- I think she would have made more sense as Belle. She just seems like... Uh, I mean, what, what, I'm trying to think, like, why... What makes Emma Watson a good Belle? Other than just that she's, like, she's super popular with, with like, um, the well, Harry Potter generation. I think she kind of... She seems kind of like that character, though. Like she is, edu- she is well educated and like yeah, that's like true. she like like she she speaks a lot about like well, but Bill's not necessarily whatever stuff. Bill's not necessarily well stuff. educated though. She's just she's just well read. She's yeah, a but it's it's like that sort of. I don't know. Uh, I I, guess. I can kind of see it. I just I, uh, to me, she didn't. She didn't really fit the role as as well as I hoped that she would. I just felt like um, we're told to believe she's weird and a bookworm, and she's uh, she's the most beautiful girl in the village. I mean, and that's, all that stuff. Even just in the original, like in the original, movie, well, yeah, it doesn't I mean, make any sense. Well, yeah, okay, but I mean, since it's a cartoon, it's like. You know, and that's the original telling. Like, that's... You just... You believe that stuff. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's just, I guess, per, for me personally, I didn't think... I, I didn't buy 100% that she was... She fit the role. Like, she made the role. Um, what was the other... Oh. Another thing I, I thought was interesting is how... You know, like, they always associate... Beauty and the Beast with Stockholm Syndrome, right? Mm, yeah. The story Beauty and the Beast, yeah, yeah, and that and that's like when a, when a captive when a captive falls in love with her captor, captor or with, with their captor. Mm-hmm. Um, I know there's all this psychological stuff behind that, but it's kind of interesting how they change change that story to some degree, or they changed this story, they tweaked it so it didn't really seem that way. Remind me. In the original Beauty and the Beast cartoon, did Beast let her go before? Like, like to get her dad? Yeah. Yeah. He did. Yeah. And did they talk about, like, like she could never love you unless she was truly free or something like that? Did they ever talk about that stuff? Mm-hmm, maybe, sort of. Did they? Okay, because I, rem- I don't recall that personally when I was, like, you know, because that was a long time ago. But, but to me, it's like they made a very important... Uh, it seemed like it, they were trying to stress the idea that like she had to freely choose him, like uh, she had to return to him, like you know. Um, so, in a lot of ways, I think they kind of tried to stray the film away from that. Kind of like in Cinderella, how they didn't want to make it seem like um, you always talk about what Cinderella stands for, right? Where it's like uh, 
she has to be like this model stay at home like girl that cleans and stuff like that like and, they seem like well like in the move these original cartoons like they seem kind of helpless right like they can't stand on the own. And then in these, like yeah, and then in these like re, these these like live action, they seem more independent and yeah, they give them stronger. Or, yeah, whatnot. they give them more dimensions to their yeah. character, and I I can respect that. I, I kind of wanted more more backstory. I mean, they did they mm -hmm. did give us some backstory, but That's it's true. like they more of it. Most of it was exactly like the cartoon, mm -hmm. and then they threw in some stuff that was. That was different. Like they threw in like one or two songs that were off. Yeah. The... Well, I was a big fan of the Beasts solo song. I thought that was really cool. That a was lot a nice of touch. a lot of it reminds me of like Les Mis, like or especially like the beginning. You know, the opening mm -hmm. number with everyone like in the town and because mm -hmm. it's like French and yeah. whatnot. Um, and I like I totally thought of like Shrek and because how they're that's like true. they're like grab your torch and pitchforks and um, you know the cle like that's where the cliche comes from where like right. like the, he dies and then like he comes they they start to glow and they get all transformed <laughs> and like and it's like but I thought like you're supposed to be beautiful and like it's you know like it's it's all the Inner it's, beauty. it's all the cliches yeah. Um... What was I going to say also? Uh, dang it, man, I lost it. Sorry. Oh, I think, like, <clears throat> I, I like the aesthetic of the film, like, the the way they, they designed the interior. I remember when, when I was younger, they, everyone made such a big deal about how, like, um, how, how cutting edge the CGI for specifically the dance scene was oh, in the cartoon in like the the ballroom in the ballroom and how they made the, the spinning ch camera shots and all that oh, stuff and really? i think they i think they did a really good job it's just i kind of expect a little bit more cinematography um, mind-blowing cinematography for that scene it's, um, e it's either so that it's or like um film. that or like be our guest that you know well, yeah that one was cool I that's guess. like all, that's supposed to be all it's like all magical and mm -hmm. and then they they like did that, but then they also like took it to a different, yeah. took it on a different direction, which yeah. was cool. The, the aesthetic reminds me very much of like the Man of the Iron Mask movie, which but it's, is also like you know the King Louis type era. Of it's very, it's very. It it looks a lot like the movie, like yeah. down to like their outfits. You know, like the that, cartoon. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the yellow dress. Right. The iconic mm -hmm. yellow dress. The guy in the blue in the blue suit, or like she's wearing her like blue and blue and white like like day day dress, or like even when they're in the mm -hmm. snow and she has the red the red like yeah. hood. Was the original Belle wearing Toms as well? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of it was a lot of it was the same. Yeah. Um. Um. Gaston, I think the guy who played Gaston was a really great antagonist. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. I think it's kind of cool. But... I think it's it's funky to me though because it's like how long were they in in, in stasis? Because oh, it's, right. it's long yeah. enough that like other like there's there some people's some servants' husbands were still in the town, but I'm like, are you guys older? Like yeah. how did the, <laughs> how probably, did this work? It was probably just like maybe three or four years. Uh, but that house I was guess. a mess. I guess I don't know. Like how many uh, petals does a ro average rose have? Well, but it's not an average rose. It's an enchanted yeah, rose. Yeah, that true that. Uh -huh. I know it's, it's it's like that's so strange though. They're like, yeah, everyone, the 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 witch lady just made everyone forget. It's like okay, cop out much like right. That that's right. the one thing. Yeah. <laughs> And how did no one ever stumble upon this castle ever? I know, cause um, the wolves. I guess. Yeah, I know. One thing that I, this movie, like watching this movie, makes me realize is, well, I mean, I, I always knew, I, I wouldn't always say I always know this, but it makes me think about how like one job in film that I'd never ever want to have is one of the people who renders the, all this CGI, because. All the animation, like 90, like maybe not 90% of the film, but so much of this film is obviously animated and yeah. polished to make look as realistic as possible. From, yeah. you know, the, the, the talking um, 
the house staff mm -hmm. and all that. Then the beast, the beast himself, uh, the the even the castle itself, yeah. like the the dancing scene and everything, That's all the crazy. lights and you know, it's just so much, yeah. um, so much CGI and you know, the, I'm sure that a lot of that costed millions and millions of dollars. So, but that's just so much work that I can't even wrap my head around. So, so I I gotta hand it to the film for the believable CGI. That's why this film like they didn't make a live action until now because it's only possible now that they can make something like this. Anyway, um, I think this video's gone on fairly long. So, what would you give this film with uh, on a scale of one? to ten rose petals. rose petals sure um i give it a 7.65 really okay 7.65 yeah like the one petal is like almost wilted but like not quite it's like mostly wilted like it just fell on the on the, on the table okay yeah. all right i give the film an 8.5 great yeah um if you're a fan of the original, I'd say go see it. But if you like musicals on its own, it stands as a pretty good. Movie. Yeah, I remember like St. Pat's did did Beauty and the Beast as as one of their musicals one year. Mm -hmm. I wasn't in it. I just remember, and it's just you know it's like the that opening the opening act with like this whole all the people and they walk through and there's like layers of vocals and. It's very, very uh, musically. Yeah, totally. I mean, I went to a poor high school, Leo High, I'm so sorry. we didn't have a program like that that could put on musicals. So I'm sorry. We didn't even have a choir or anything. I'm sorry. Well, dang. <coughs> No, it's okay. Speaking of Vallejo, the theater was hella packed, and it oh, was like a it's a Tuesday Co night. Like a crying like child. there was there was Jeez, crying man. children like up in there everywhere. My and it's God. like whenever whenever it wouldn't be loud, like you could hear it, but then like like the audio like the sound balance was loud enough that you don't hear most of them. So it was like oh, it God. was crowded. Every everybody and their mamas was up in there watching that Beauty and the Beast though. Yeah, I know. Because we watch movies on Tuesdays quite often and it's not usually that crowded. Yeah. It's cray cray. Well, maybe let's not do this do do that again. Let's not watch well, maybe we can kid watch friendly during, films on Tuesday nights. Like Ohio. during the day. Yeah, during the day, sure. During the day. But unless it's summertime. Yeah, dude. But kid friendly films. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not 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 on Tuesdays. It's cool. Beauty and the Beast. I mean yeah. Beauty and the Bestie. They got they they have the momentum of all these other previous live action attempts that like this was pretty hyped up you yeah. know so. i'm looking forward to mulan um is there another disney princess oh, oh little mermaid i don't think I've heard oh anything about i that. feel like i might have heard stuff about that i'm not sure if it's disney though it's supposed to be dark or whatever what? there's always talks of like aladdin or like Lion King. Yeah, They're I just think if they did Disney if they just did wants Little to Little Mermaid it would be a little too sexual. Disney just wants <laughs> with to with the shells. <laughs> well, were you the one that said like if how would they do that cuz then they'd have to make everything look like it's underwater the whole time. Mm, and that's a lot of work. I think there's that is a little bit of work. I think yeah. yeah. I don't know how I, I feel there's about. Ways to do it. I We'd don't have know. to watch Aquaman and see how they do it. I don't know how I feel about like Wonder Woman is coming up. Yay. I'm like I'm looking forward I'm to that. About that. I feel like you are too, yeah. Yeah. I just don't know how I feel about Disney doing all these live action movies. Uh, it's I'm, just I'm cool it's like that. you know, why mm, not? I don't know. Do it. Why not? I guess. Alright then. Thanks guys. <sighs> Alright guys, you can follow me on Twitter at Victor underscore Quan. You can follow me on Instagram at Victor No underscore Quan. You can follow Alexa at Alexalent Anne. On Instagram and half conformist on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. It's such a long video. All right. It's See you guys. See ya. Maybe Power Rangers will be next. So let's see what uh, what's what's that what has in store what that has in store for us. All right.